good morning it's about 5 30 a.m. on a Tuesday and I'm heading up to Twin Cities area here in Minnesota meeting up with Stan Genetic this morning and we're gonna collab at, on a project and just or I guess I'm just I'm meeting him up there and we're, I'm gonna learn how to run an excavator all right, so I got, I'm going to open up shop. I got all the equipment, cameras and stuff ready, all packed. And yeah, it's going to be a drive up there. Like I said, it's going to be like a three hour drive. Stay tuned. Watana, Minnesota. Uh, it's getting light out now and I think we're pretty good on time. So I haven't spoke about much about Stan Genetic. We've been planning this for a while now to meet up and connect with each other. I met Stan through, well I watched his videos on YouTube um, I think about a year back and then met him at GIE Expo and you know we, we talked a little bit there and now we're since he lives in Minnesota we're collaborating and what's going on today is we got I will be learning how to run an excavator for the first time I wanted to do I wanted to run one at the GIE Expo or test out one at the GIE Expo but the line was so long Nick and I we, you know we were waiting in line and I never did get to um, test one out so this is going to be neat to get to learn how to use one and Stan's going to teach me how to operate one so yeah, excited for today's today's event. All right. So we are here. How you doing? So we're gonna take down this house. Yes, well not right yes. away. Right. You're gonna get your butt in the seat of that excavator for a few hours first, right. getting comfortable with it, and then you get to crunch up a house. All right. This is like the weirdest get together ever on a job site. <laughs> We've got the excavator coming from Michigan. Okay. We've got Chant coming from, where did you come? Jackson, Minnesota. Jackson, Minnesota. Three hours. <laughs> Bill came five hours away from Case to, uh, yeah to show us to make sure we understood all the intricacies of this machine and Tim had to come all the way from five blocks down the road it was so fun to go. <laughs> I almost fell asleep <laughs> first time running this thing 
or excavator itself. I've never, I had never ran. Even a mini? Not even a mini. Okay. All right, so we're gonna take a tour of this house before it goes down. It's gonna be a fast tour. Yeah. There isn't much help. We're not gonna fall down, are we? No. no. You don't get to worry about that in uh, burn houses, really. For the most part, when you come into a house like this, it's pretty stable. <laughs> we really pissed through the wall. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> this is the bedroom. Oh, man. Oh, that, that's hilarious. I love seeing stuff like that. It's just funny. Can you turn this that chair? So you guys, you got your guys come in and just take everything out. We take down things that we worry about blowing and drifting and making messes. Right. So I had them bag some of this stuff up. Okay. That way it's just a little bit cleaner. So yeah, I had them, I had a pre, pre crew come okay. through here and remove all the appliances and uh, furniture, chemicals. Right. Then I have, um, for, for our area, I've got to have Ramsey County come through, and Ramsey County has to, I have to do a walkthrough, and Ramsey County inspects things like, see this sink bottom chant? The bottom of this sink, yeah. they actually inspect that. Really? They want to know if that's asbestos lined or not. And then I generate a report, I turn that into the Minnesota Pollution Control Agency, okay. and I got to give them a 10 day, what's called a 10 day notification saying i found this asbestos and i removed it i can only have it done by a certified okay. abatement Thank contractor you. yep by the, the foundation so what stan's doing is confirming the okay. else? making sure that he we're ready to go and ready to demo all right i'm in uniform we're getting ready it's always nice people drive forward and backward into the building. Mm -hmm. If you're ever facing downhill or on a, a cliff, you never want your track sideways with the cliff. You always want to be able to like if it's if it's something blows out or something, you know, if the, if the house something for some reason the wall blows out, you don't want to be sitting sideways on it. If, you, right. if your tracks are pointing at it, then you can either back up or if you're gonna fall, well drive into it and you always got leverage out front where you can, oh, you know. One of the things I want you to remember, we're not digging in the summer, spring, or fall, okay? This snow makes that excavator look like it's out of pair of skis. Even the slightest film. And then once we start digging in the dirt, let's look. Let's look right now. Stop right here. I'm gonna hop up now. I'm gonna just let you get in here. I'm used to this whole thing. <laughs> All right, here I go. Good. These controls come to life. So okay. anything you touch now, you're gonna move. So this one right here will turn you side to side. Anytime you get in a pinch or whatever and you don't like where the things something's going just let go it'll stop it'll side, stop right side where to do. side this going side to side yep, the whole no, thing okay, side to side okay. this up and down that's your main boom up and down okay it's not not the not the end here it's this, this main boom right, right here so the only thing this does is side to side yeah. up and down so this will turn you all the way if you hold it here you will spin in a full circle 
Okay. Either way. This will just put your main boom up and down. This one now, side to side, does your bucket. Okay. In and out. Okay. And this will put the stick forward. That'll boom out. Okay. And this will pull it back. So now I can work these together. So when you're dropping this and you're digging or side to side, it's just okay. that takes time to figure out. Okay. You know. So this this is more for the the bucket. That's the bucket and the that's the lower half. This is the upper half and side to side. Okay. So if you see that knuckle right there, right. this is just this side just does the upper this main boom right here. Okay. This side just does from that knuckle out this okay. bucket here, the bucket and the in and out. So I can show you. Okay, so we're in a safe spot. Everybody's safe here. See how I'm pushing forward? That's going out. Okay. I pull back, that goes in. Now, you can possibly hook the cab here. I don't know. I haven't tried with this one. Depends on the attachment. I'm sure the thumb could come in the cab, but maybe not the, the bucket. Butt. This is a bigger bucket. Oh, so it's an over, it's an oversized and bucket. And he said that this one yeah. will go into the okay, cab. Okay, so if you keep pulling this way and you're getting close and you get uncomfortable, just let go. Okay. It'll stop. Drive you. Can twist it in different directions, whatever you're turning. Okay. So go ahead, get a feel for it.